Okay. Hi, welcome everybody. Um, thank you for coming to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, Storm and I are very excited for what you are about to see tonight. It is going to be quite magical. Um, the, uh, the, I, the, the, the question is, like, why are we doing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Um, and it was like 13 years ago, or about 13 years ago, which is when I first started. And I remember going down to the third grade, and I saw uh, Jack Cassidy at the time, and Jack is now like a full-fledged adult. Um, and Jack is a third grader, is sitting there reading the almost 900-page Order of the Phoenix. And I'm like, like Jack, what, are you, like, what, is, what is this? And he's like, oh, it's Harry Potter, and he goes on this whole thing. And fast forward now, and so at that point, I'm like, wow, that's, like, that's crazy that, that a third grader is reading a 900-page book. Fast forward to a month ago, and I'm down in second grade, and um, I didn't see Order of the Phoenix, but I did see the first, the second, the third, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, like a whole bunch of the second graders reading Harry Potter. And it just goes to show, like that, like, Harry Potter has just had this enormous impact over our kids and even like adults. Um, how many have read any of the Harry Potter books? I'm just sort of curious. Yeah, I mean, that's like, that's pretty, pretty unusual. Um, for this day and age when you've got grown-ups and adults both indulging in the same, um, the same entertainment. So, um, so we're, that's why we're doing it. And it's going, to be, it's going to be amazing. These kids have, they play these characters with such passion and their own little flair. Uh, and you will, you will laugh and you will be so very proud of everything that, um, that they show you tonight. I think my, my favorite moment of this show is actually not going to be anything that's happening from this point forward, but you'll notice so many great moments on stage, and we used everything we have. We used video, we used puppets and felt and sound effects, and, and working alongside all of your kids was, was really the joy of this. And so for every moment that you see here, there are hundreds of moments behind that that were just every sort of ed seventh grade adventure you could imagine. So uh, we're so proud of them. We can't wait to show you this show. So for, uh, for realsies, um, just have fun with this. And you know, things might not, there could be some things that don't go quite right or whatever, but um, it's, it's just gonna be fun. So, uh, so sit back, enjoy, and uh, we need a minute just to get started and we're, we're gonna get it going. So thank you. Deluminate. Meow. I should have known that you'd be here, Professor McGonagall. Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true, Albus? I'm afraid so. The good and the bad. And the boy? Hagrid is bringing him. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? Ah, oh, Professor, I'd trust Hagrid with my life. <laughs> Professor Dumbledore, sir. Professor McGonagall. No problems, I trust, Hagrid? No, sir. The little tyke fell asleep just as we were flying over Bristol. Try not to wake him. Albus, do you really think it's safe leaving him with these people? I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. They really are. The only family he has. This boy will be famous. There won't be a wizard in our world who doesn't know his name. 
Exactly. He's far better off growing up away from all that. Until he's ready. <laughs> there, there, Hagrid. It's not really goodbye after all. Good luck, Harry Potter. Wake up, cousin! Oh, the birthday boy. Happy birthday, son. Oh, why don't you just go cook the breakfast and try not to burn anything? Yes, Aunt Petunia. I want everything to be perfect for my Dudley's special day. Hurry up and bring my coffee, boy. Yes, Uncle Vernon. How many are there? 36, counting them myself. 36? But last year, last year I got 37. Yes, well these ones are quite a bit bigger than last year. I don't care how big they are. Oh, now, 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 this is what we're going to do. When we go out, we're gonna buy you two new presents. How's that, Pumpkin? And it will be a lovely day at the zoo. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm warning you now, boy, any funny business, any at all, and you won't have any meals for a week. Make it move! 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 Dudley, he's asleep! He's boring. Sorry about him. He doesn't understand what it's like lying there day after day, having people press their ugly faces in on you. Can you hear me? It's just, I've never talked to a snake before. Do you talk to people often? You're from Burma, aren't you? Was it nice there? Do you miss your family? I see, you were brought in captivity. That's me as well. And I never knew my parents either. Mom, Dad, come here. You won't believe what the snake is doing. Whoa, ah, ah. Anytime. Oh, Dudley, Dudley, how did you get in there? Mom! What happened? Mom, help! Dudley! Help! help! Dudley! Help! What happened? I swear, I Dad, don't know. Mom, One minute me. the glass is there, and then it was gone. It was like help! magic. Help! There's help! no such thing as magic. Someone help! Dudley! I warned you, boy, no funny business. Now head off back to your cupboard under the stairs. No dinner for you. Dad, look. Harry's got a letter. Hey, give it to me. It's mine. Yours? Who'd be writing to you? Mr. H. Potter, the cupboard under the stairs, four privet drive from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! No. What's happening? <gasps> Make oh. it stop! Give me that. Stop! Give it's me that mine! Letter. Give it to me. Why don't you want me to read it? Hey, stop. give me that letter. Stop! Here. Sorry about the door. I demand that you leave at once. You are breaking and entering. Dry up, Dursley, you great prune. Mind, Harry. I haven't seen you since you was a baby, but you're a bit more long than I would have expected, particularly around the middle. Uh, uh, I'm not Harry. Uh, I am. Oh, well, of course you are. Oh, I got a little something for you. Might have sat on it at some point, but not every day your young man turns to left and knows it. Sorry, but who are you? 
Well, I'm Hagrid, keeper of the keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Of course, you know all about Hogwarts. Sorry, no. Blimey, Harry, didn't you ever wonder where your mom and dad learned it all? Learned what? You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard, and a thumping good one at that, I wager. Once you train up a little, of course. No, you must have made a mistake. I mean, I can't be a wizard. I'm just Harry. Just Harry. Well, just Harry, have you ever made things happen that you can't explain when you're angry or you're scared? Ah. Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted to the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. He'll not be going. We swore we'd put an end to this when we brought him in. You knew? You knew all along and you never told me? Of course we knew. How could you not be? My perfect sister being who she was. And then she met that Potter. And then she had you. And I knew you'd be just the same. Just as strange. Just as abnormal. He'll not be going. This boy's had his name down ever since he was born. He'll be going to the finest school of witchcraft and wizardry under the greatest headmaster Hogwarts has ever seen, Albus Dumbledore. I will not pay for some crackpot old fool to teach him magic tricks. Never insult Albus Dumbledore in front of me. A tail, a pig's tail, ah, oh, Dudley. Oh, please. Dudley! Oh. Would you look at the time? We'd best be off. Unless he'd rather stay, oh. of course. <laughs> okay. Guys. <laughs> Students must be equipped with one standard size, two pewter cauldron, and may bring, if they desire, either an owl a cat or a toad. Can we find this all in London? If you know where to go. Welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley. Wow, Hagrid. Ah, uh, no thanks, Tom, sorry. I'm here on official Hogwarts business. Just helping young Harry here get his school supplies. Bless my soul, it's Harry Potter. Welcome back, Harry Potter, welcome back. Doris Crawford, Mr. Potter, I can't believe I'm meeting you at last. Harry Potter, can't I help? Please, I am, to meet you. Ah, Professor Quirrell, didn't see you there. Per Harry, this is Professor Quirrell. He'll be your defense against the dark arts teacher at Hogwarts. Oh, nice to meet you. Fearfully fascinating subject. Not that you need it, eh, Potter? Ah, uh, well, we've got to be going now. Lots to buy. Bye. See, Harry, you're famous. Well, why am I famous, Hagrid? All those people back there. How is it they know who I am? Not exactly sure I'm the right person to tell you that, Harry. And how am I to pay for all this? I haven't any money. Well, see there? That's Gringotts, the Wizarding Bank. No place safer, except perhaps Hogwarts. Mr. Harry Potter would like to make a withdrawal. And does Mr. Harry Potter have his key? Oh, huh. It's in here somewhere, the little devil. Ah, here it is. Oh, Thank you. and this, from Professor Dumbledore about you know what in vault, you know which. Very well, come with me. Why are we getting into a mining car? Well, the reason Gringotts is so secure is because everything is deep underground and getting there is half the fun. Is this money? Well, didn't think your mom and dad would leave you with nothing now, did ya? Is this a lot? What's in there, 
Hagrid? Top secret Hogwarts business. Best you don't mention this to anyone, Harry. I still need a wand. Ah, well, best you go to Ollivander's over there. In no place better. Oh, and while you're gone, I have to get something. I'll be right back. Hello? Hello? I wondered when I'd be seeing you, Mr. Potter. It seems only yesterday that your mother and father weren't here buying their own wands. Well, give it away. <laughs> Apparently not. Definitely oh. not. Oh. Curious, very curious. Sorry, but what's curious? I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather resides in that wand, gave one other feather, just one other. It is curious that you should be destined for this wand when its brother gave you that scar. And who owned that wand? We do not speak his name, Mr. Potter, but it is clear that we can expect great things from you. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes, but great. Harry, Harry! Happy birthday! Wow! Thanks, Hagrid. Well, I figured you needed an animal for Hogwarts, and all the kids be wanting owls these days. Very useful, carry your mail and everything. Thanks, Hagrid. I bet I could find a name for her in one of my new wizard books. You are right there, Harry. He killed my parents, didn't he? The one that gave me this scar. You know, Hagrid, I know you do. Something very important you need to understand. Not all wizards are good. Some go bad. And a few years ago, one went as bad as one can possibly go. His name was... <laughs> Maybe if you wrote it down? No, I can't spell it. All right, I'll say it. His name was Voldemort. Voldemort? Shush! It was dark times, Harry. Dark times. Voldemort started to recruit some followers to the dark side. And once he decided to kill someone, no one survived. Your parents fought against him. But they didn't survive. No one until you, Harry. Me? Voldemort tried to kill me? That ain't no ordinary mark on your foot. Me? Voldemort tried to kill me? That ain't no ordinary mark on your forehead. One like that comes from a curse, and an evil curse at that. And what happened to Vol... to you know who? Some say he died. Codswallop, in my opinion. No, I reckon he's out there, waiting. Too weak to go on. But we know one thing for sure. Something about you stumped him that night. That's why you're famous. That's why everyone knows you as the boy who lived.
Uh, I don't need this yet. Yeah. Where's Percy? He's coming now. How come Percy gets new robes? Because he's a prefect, and you two are too busy blowing up toilets. Blown up a toilet? We've never blown up a toilet before. Great idea though, Mom. Thanks. Platform nine and three quarters. But Hagrid, this says platform nine and three quarters. There's no such thing. Is there? Honestly, it's the same. Year after year. Here we are. Platform nine and three quarters. All right, Percy, you first. Fred, you next. He's not Fred, I am. Honestly, woman, you call yourself our mother. Oh, I'm sorry, George. I'm only joking. I am Fred. Goodbye, mother. Excuse me, but could you tell me how to? How to get onto the platform? Yes. Not to worry, dear. It's Ron's first time at Hogwarts as well. Now, all you've got to do is run straight at the wall. Best to do it at a bit of a run if you're nervous. Watch Ron. When you get to the other side, you'll find platform nine and three quarters and the Hogwarts Express train ready to take you to school. Thanks. Excuse me, do you mind? Everos is full. No, not at all. I'm Ron, by the way. Ron Weasley. Yeah, I remember. I'm Harry. Harry Potter. So, so it's true. I mean, do you really have the... The what? The, the scar? Oh, yeah. Wicked. This is my rat Scabbers, by the way. Pitiful, isn't he? Just a little bit. Fred gave me a spell to turn him yellow. Want to see? Yeah. <clears throat> Son? Has anyone seen a toad? A boy named Neville lost one. Oh, are you doing magic? Well, let's see then. <clears throat> Sunshine, daisies, butter, mellow, turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? Of course, I've only tried a few simple spells myself, and they've all worked for me. For example, your broken glasses. Oculus Reparo. See, it's much better. Holy cricket! You're Harry Potter. I've read all about you. I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You better get changed into your robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. Great. I hear they have a big feast waiting for us, and I'm starving. Well, help yourself to some candy. I didn't even know what I was buying. Thanks, Harry. Thanks, Harry. What is a chocolate frog? Chocolate frogs are the best, and they come with the wizard trading cards. Look, I've got a Dumbledore. I've got a Newt Scamander. But wait till you try Birdie Bot's every flavored beans. Those are the best. Well, unless you get a booger flavored one. Step right up, first year, step right up. Don't have all day. Come on now, don't be shy. Welcome to Hogwarts. My name is Professor McGonagall. In a few moments, you'll enter through these doors and join your Hogwarts classmates. But before you can take your seats, you must be sorted into your houses. They are Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. Now, while you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you house points. Any rule breaking, and you'll lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the house cup. My toad, Trevor! And what is your name, child? Neville. Neville Longbottom. Sorry, Professor. Well, Neville Longbottom, I suspect your journey will be interesting. The sorting ceremony will begin momentarily. So it's true, then, what they're saying on the train. 
Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. Oh my gosh, it's Harry Potter? This is Crab and Goyle, and I'm Malfoy, Draco Malfoy. Think my name's funny? No need to ask yours. Red hair, hand-me-down robes, you must be a Weasley. You'll soon find that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. Don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. We're ready for you now in the Great Hall. It's not real, the ceiling. It's just bewitched to look like the night sky. I read about it in Hogwarts A History. Now, before we begin, Professor Dumbledore would like to say a few words. I have a few start of term notices I wish to announce. The first years, please note that the Dark Force is strictly forbidden to all students. Also, Mr. Filch, our, care our caretaker, has asked me to remind you that the third floor corridor on the right hand side is strictly forbidden to all those who do not wish to die a most painful death. Thank you. There's nothing hidden in your head the sorting hat can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. You might belong in Gryffindor, where dwell brave of heart. Their daring nerve and chivalry set Gryffindors apart. You might belong in Hufflepuff, where they are just and loyal. Those patient Hufflepuffs are true and unafraid of toil. Or yet wise old Ravenclaw, if you've a ready mind, where those of wit and learning will always find their kind. Or perhaps in Slytherin, you'll make your real friends. Those cunning folks use any means to achieve their ends. So put me on and we'll see where you ought to be. Now, when I call your name, you'll come forward and you shall be sorted into your houses. Vincent Crabb. Slytherin! Seamus Finnegan. Gryffindor. <laughs> Gregory Goyal. Slytherin. <laughs> Neville Longbottom. Gryffindor. Hermione Granger. Oh no, okay, relax. Ah, right then. Hmm, right. Okay, Gryffindor. Draco Malfoy. Slytherin. There's not a single witch or wizard who hasn't gone bad from Slytherin. Ronald Weasley. Ah, another Weasley. I know just where to put you. Gryffindor. <laughs> Harry Potter. Hmm. Difficult, very difficult. Plenty of courage, I see. Not a bad mind, either. There's talent, oh yes, and a thirst to prove yourself. But where to put you? Not Slytherin, not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here in your head. And Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. There's no doubt about that, no? Not Slytherin, anything but Slytherin. Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. Yes. Your 
attention, please. Let the feast begin. Say, Percy, who's that teacher over there talking to Professor Quirrell? Oh, that's Professor Snape, head of the Slytherin house. What's he teach? Potions, but everybody knows it's the dark arts he fancies. He's been after Quirrell's job for years. Oh my goodness, are those ghosts? Of course. You can talk to them, but just don't walk through them. It can be very <sighs> unnerving. Nick. I prefer Sir Nicholas, if you don't mind. Nearly headless? How can you be nearly headless? Like this. Oh. Uh. Gryffindor is following me. Come on, hurry up. Now, Professor McGonagall is the head of the Gryffindor house. And this is the most direct path to the Gryffindor common room. Also, watch out for the stairs. They like to change. Come on, keep up. That one's moving. This painting of the old fat lady is our entrance to the Gryffindor common room. Capith Dracones. <sighs> Welcome to the Gryffindor common room. Boys, dormitories upstairs and to your right, girls on your left. You might have noticed that your belongings have already been brought up. Right to bed. Classes begin tomorrow. Imagine the look on McGonagall's face if she saw that we were late. Yeah. So kind of you to join us, Mr. Potter, Mr. Weasley. That was bloody brilliant, Professor. Thank you for that assessment, Mr. Weasley. Perhaps if I were to transfigure Mr. Potter or yourself into pocket watch, maybe one of you would be on time. We got lost. Then perhaps a map? I trust you don't even want to find your seats. And now, let's begin our transfiguration class. There are many spells for changing an object from one type of thing into another, but none of them are easy. I am Professor Snape, the head of House Slytherin. There will be no foolish wand-waving or silly incantations in our potions class. As such, I should expect many of you to enjoy the subtle science and exact art that is potion making. However, for those select few who possess the predisposition, I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, and even put a stopper in death. Then again, Perhaps some of you have come to Hogwarts in possession of abilities so formidable that you feel confident 
enough not to pay attention? Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. Tell me what should I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? I don't know. You don't know? Well, let's try again. Where would you look if I asked you to find me a bezoar? I don't know. Are you okay, sir? You're limping. And what is the difference between monkshood and wolfbane? I don't know. Pity. Clearly, fame isn't everything, is it, Mr. Potter? Welcome to the Defense Against the Dark Arts class. My name is Professor Quirrell, and my job is to teach you how to defend yourself against the dark arts. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Madam Hooch. Welcome to your first flying lesson. I'd like you all to stand in a line with your broom at your side. Now, call your broom. Up! 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 Mount your broom and grip it tight. You don't want to be sliding off the end. When I blow my whistle, I want each of you to kick off from the ground hard. Keep your broom steady, hover for a moment, then lean forward slightly and touch back down. On my whistle. Three, two, Whoa! Whoa! Mr. Longbottom! Neville, what are you doing? I, I can't control it! Neville! Help! Neville. Help! Help! Oh. Whoa! Help! Help! How do we get down? Oh! No! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! Help! 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 No! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh! I chase after Mr. Longbottom. Understand, if I see a single broom in the air, the one riding it will find themselves out of Hogwarts before they can say Quidditch. Ha! Did you see his face? Oh, look! He left his toad behind. Give him here, Malfoy. No, I think I'll leave him somewhere for Longbottom to find. Perhaps up on the roof. What's the matter, Potter? Bit beyond your reach? Harry, no, you heard what Madam Hooch said. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. What an idiot. Give him here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. Is that so? Have it your way, then. Potter, follow me. Potter, this is Oliver Wood, the captain of the Gryffindor Quidditch team. Wood, I have found you a seeker. Ron, we've been over this for the last time. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Oh, you're exhausting. Harry, you're a natural on your broomstick. I suppose it shouldn't be a surprise since your father was a seeker in Quidditch, too. I didn't know that. I'm telling you, it's creepy. She knows more about you than you do. Who doesn't? Hey, look, the title of the Daily Prophet newspaper says someone broke into Gringotts Bank. Let me see that. Believed to be the work of dark witches and wizards unknown, Gringotts goblins, while acknowledging the breach, insist that nothing had been taken. The vault in question, number 713, had in fact been emptied earlier that same day. That's odd. That's the vault Hagen and I went to. What's oh. happening? The staircase has changed, <sighs> remember? Let's go that way. Before the staircases move again. Does anybody feel like we shouldn't be here? We're not supposed to be here. It's the third floor. It's forbidden. Who's there? Oh no, it's Filch the caretaker. If we get caught up here, we'll most certainly lose house points for Gryffindor. Quick, in here. Oh no, it's locked. We're done for. Oh, move over. Alohomora. 
Get in! Alohomora? Ugh, standard book of spells, chapter seven. Darn kids! Uh. Is Filch still out there? I don't see anything. I think he's gone. Filch is gone. Probably thought this door was locked. It was locked. At least we're safe now. Oh, that was a close call. Yeah. What? What? <coughs> what, what, what is that? It's just a three-headed dog. Good doggy. Let's get out of here. Ah! Ah! What do they think they're doing, keeping a thing like that locked up in a school? You don't use your eyes, do you? Didn't you see what it was standing on? I wasn't looking at its feet. I was a little preoccupied with its heads. If you hadn't noticed, there were three. Well, it was standing on a trap door, which means it probably wasn't there by accident. It's guarding something. Guarding something? Listen, did you notice Snape was limping? It was the same type of limp my cousin Dudley had that time he got bitten by my neighbor Arabella Fig's dog. That's why Snape's limping. He must have tried to get past the three-headed dog. But what could Snape be after? The day I was at Gringotts, Hagrid took something out of one of the vaults. He said it was Hogwarts business, very secret. So you're saying? That's what the dog's guarding. Whatever it is that Snape took, uh, whatever it is that Hagrid took out of the vault. That's what Snape wants. Well, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. She needs to sort out her priorities. And we've got to figure out what Snape's after. He's whatever it is, it's trouble. Harry Potter is awesome, and my favorite book is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The first one by far. Book one? The first uh, one. The first one. I like the first one because it's kind of like everything's new and you can also relate to Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. No, you've made a mistake. I mean, I can't be a, a, a wizard. I mean, I'm just Harry. Just Harry. Of course, the Sorcerer's Stone. Philosopher's Stone, because that's how they market it in the UK, except philosophers are less interesting to Americans. It's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, because it's the one that got me drawn into this magical world. Books and cleverness are more important things. Friendship and bravery. I read them in second grade. Uh, yeah, I read them a while ago, too. The Chamber of Secrets. My favorite Harry Potter book is number two. The Chamber of Secrets. I'm reading the Chamber of Secrets. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. My favorite book is The Prisoner of Azkaban. Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, Azkaban, for sure. Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The Prisoner of Azkaban. But you know, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. One only remembers to turn on the light. My favorite book of Harry Potter's is The Goblet of Fire. My favorite is The Goblet of Fire. The Goblet of Fire. Do you think we'll ever just have a quiet year at Hogwarts? No. Goblet of Fire? Goblet of Fire? The Goblet of Fire. Goblet of Fire! What's the matter with him? I don't know, I can't see him. Oh my god! I've killed Harry Potter! My favorite book is The Order of the Phoenix. I'm reading The Order of the Phoenix. The Order of the Phoenix. Yes, we've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. My favorite character is Ron. One person couldn't feel all that. It'd explode. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. Will you stop eating? Definitely you're on. My favorite book is The Half-Blood Prince. The Half-Blood Prince? Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. 
My favorite Harry Potter book is the seventh book, The Deathly Hallows. Deathly Hallows? My favorite book is The Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. I feel like it was the most emotional one, and like seeing how everything turned out after like reading so many books for so many years was kind of amazing. Always. In dreams, we enter a world that's entirely our own. Let them swim in the deepest ocean or glide over the highest cloud. Quidditch is easy enough to understand. Each time is seven players, three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, and a seeker. That's you. There's three kinds of balls. This one's called the quaffle. Now, the chasers handle the quaffle and try to put it through one of the hoops. The keeper, that's me, defends the hoops. With me so far? I think so. What are those? Bludgers. Nasty little buggers. But the only ball I want you to worry about is this one. The golden snitch. I like this ball. Ah, you like it now. Just wait. It's wicked fast and near impossible to see. What do I do with it? You catch it before the other team's seeker. You catch it, and the game is over. You catch this, Potter, and we win. But, but I never get mail. It's a broomstick. That's not just any broomstick. It's a Nimbus 2000. But who would have? Ready, Harry? Ready. Hello, and welcome to Hogwarts' first Quidditch game of the season. Today's game, Slytherin versus Gryffindor. The bludgers are up, followed by the golden snitch. Remember, the snitch is worth 150 points. The seeker who catches the snitch ends the game. The quaffle is released and the game begins. Angelina Johnson scores. Ooh. 10 points for Gryffindor. Slytherin takes possession of the quaffle. Bletchley passes to Captain Marcus Flint. Flint dodges Bell. Ooh, and hit by a bludger. Hope it broke his nose. Just kidding, professors. And takes a shot. And saved by Keeper. Slytherin did not like that play. Now Flint seems to be getting a little more aggressive. And he's got the quaffle back. He shoots. And he scores. 10 points for Slytherin. Slytherin seems to be getting much more aggressive now. They box Bell and, and Flint now has the quaffle. And Wood takes a shot from Bletchley, opening up the goal. And Slytherin scores once again. The golden snitch. Whoa. What's going on with Whoa. Harry's broom? Whoa. And the rookie Harry Potter is still learning how to ride a broom, it appears. He's out of control. It's Snape. He's jinxing the broom. Jinxing the broom? What do we do? Leave it to me. Come on, Hermione. Lacarnum in flammere. Hermione did it. Harry has control again. And now the two seekers are trying to end the match in hot pursuit of the golden snitch. It looks like Flint has got it. No, it looks like Potter has got it. No, it looks like, oh no, the two have crashed into each other. I think Harry's got it. He's got the snitch. Harry Potter receives 150 Woo! points for catching the snitch. Harry, 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 Harry. Oh God. Nonsense. Why would Snape be trying to jinx Harry's broom? Who knows? Why was he trying to get past that three-headed dog on Halloween? Who told you about Fluffy? Fluffy? 
That thing has a name. Well, of course he has a name. I got him off an Irish fellow at the pub last year. Lent him to Dumbledore to guard the... Yes? I shouldn't have said that. Hagrid, we know... Whatever Fluffy's guarding, Snape's trying to steal it. Codswell, Snape is a Hogwarts teacher. Hogwarts teacher or not, I know a curse when I see one. You have to maintain eye contact, and Snape wasn't blinking. Exactly. All right, listen here, all three of you. You're meddling in things that ought not to be meddled in. It's dangerous. What Fluffy is guarding is strictly between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel! Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Nicholas Flamel? Who's Nicholas Flamel? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Knight to E5. Queen to E5. What is that? It's wizard's chest. Barbaric. That's wizard chest, Hermione. But I'll tell you what's really barbaric. My parents leaving me here at school for Christmas to go visit my brother Charlie in Romania. He works with dragons. Dragons don't celebrate Christmas. Well, since you'll both be here, I think you should go to the library for information on Nicholas Flamel. We've looked a hundred times. Not in the restricted section. Happy Christmas. The restricted section? I think we've had a bad influence on her. Happy Christmas, Harry. I've got presents. Yeah, you've got a whole bunch over here. Your father left this in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. What is it? Some sort of cloak. Let's see it then. Try it on. My body, it's gone. Whoa, it's not gone. It's invisible. I'm invisible? It's an invisibility cloak. They're really rare. I wonder who gave it to you. There's no name. The card just said, use it well. Happy Christmas, Harry. Ron. Happy, Happy Christmas, Christmas, Professor, Professor Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Severus, I th th thought... You don't want me as your enemy, Quirrell. What do you mean? You know perfectly well what I mean. We'll have another chat soon. You've had time to decide where your loyalties lie. Famous fire eaters. 15th century fiends. Flamel. Nicholas Flamel. I found it!
Mom? Dad? You've been staring into that mirror all night, Harry. Professor Dumbledore. Because you, like those before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Arised. I didn't know it was called that, sir. The mirror. Ar Does it show us what we want, whatever we want? The, yes. And no, it shows us nothing more or less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts. You, who have never known your family, see them standing around you. But this mirror will give us neither knowledge nor truth. Wizards and witches have wasted away before it, entranced by what they have seen. It does not do to dwell on dreams, Harry and forget to live. Remember that. Sir, Professor Dumbledore, can I ask you a question? Obviously, you have just done so. You may ask me one more thing, however. What do you see when you look into the mirror? I see myself holding a pair of thick woolen socks. One can never have enough socks. We've been searching for months. Nicholas Flamel is nowhere to be found. If only I hadn't dropped that book. Well, we're not going to give up. Neville, Neville. what happened? Neville. Malfoy, he did the leg locking curse. He was looking for someone to practice on. Harry, Ron, stand back. Locomoto mortis reverso. Whoa, thanks, Hermione. You should go to Professor McGonagall, Neville. Report him. I, I don't want more trouble. Neville, you've got to stand up to him. He's used to walking all over people, but that's no reason to lie down in front of him and make it easier. There's no need to tell me I'm not brave enough to be in Gryffindor. Malfoy's already done that. Here, have a chocolate frog. Neville, you're worth 12 of Malfoy. The Sorting Hat chose you for Gryffindor, didn't it? And Gryffindors have virtues of courage, bravery, and determination. That's inside you. Don't forget that. Thanks, Harry. Do you want the wizard trading card from the frog? I got a Nicholas Flamel. Let me see that. Here it is. Nicholas Flamel, the noted alchemist, is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. The what? The Sorcerer's Stone is a legendary substance with astonishing powers. It has the ability to transform any metal into pure gold and produces the elixir of life, which makes the drinker immortal. Immortal? It means you'll never die. <laughs> I know what it means. The only stone currently in existence belongs to Mr. Nicholas Flamel, who last year celebrated his 665th birthday. Oh, Dumbledore is mentioned. Albus Dumbledore, best known for defeating the dark wizard Grindelwald in 1945, worked with Flamel in alchemy. So Dumbledore is keeping the stone safe for his friend Flamel. That's what's on the third floor. That's what's under the trap door. The, the Sorcerer's stone. stone! Let's go. Thanks for the chocolate, Harry. Just drop the stuff in the box. No, you had it. Not you did. Tomorrow I'll bring it. Oh, oh God. Hagrid, 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 are you home? <sighs> Sorry, don't wish to be rude, but I'm in no fit state to entertain today. We know about the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh. We think Snape's trying to steal it. Blimey, Harry, you're not still on about Snape, are you? Hagrid, we know he's trying to steal it. We just don't know why. Snape is one of the teachers protecting the stone. Why would he go and try to steal it? What? Well, of course, there are other things defending the stone, aren't there? Spells, enchantments. Waste of bloody time, if you ask me. Ain't no one gonna get past my Fluffy. No one knows, except for me and Dumbledore. All you do is play him a little bit of music and he falls right asleep. 
I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Who's there? Malfoy. Oh dear. Come on, we get better get back. Good evening. Nothing, I repeat, nothing gives a student the right to walk about the school at night. Therefore, as punishment for your actions, 50 points will be taken. 50? Each. And to ensure it doesn't happen again, all four of you will receive detention. Excuse me, Professor. Perhaps I heard you wrong. Did you say the four of us? No, you heard me correctly, Mr. Malfoy. You see, as honorable as your intentions were, you two were out of bed after hours. You will serve detention with your classmates tomorrow evening, Hogwarts style. Unicorn blood. The poor beast has been injured bad by something. That's what we're after tonight. Run, Hermione, you'll come with me. Malfoy and Harry, you go together. Uh, come. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, Malfoy. You wait till my father hears about this. This is servant stuff. If I didn't know better, Malfoy, I'd say you were scared. Scared, Potter? Did you hear that? What is that? Ah! Help! Be gone. Thank you for saving me. Who are you? What are you? I am Ferenz, a centaur, and you are Harry Potter. You are known by too many creatures here. It is unsafe at this time, especially for you. What was that thing you saved me from? A monstrous creature. It is a terrible crime to slay a unicorn. The moment you sl you've slain something so pure that the moment it, the blood touches your lips, you'll, you'll have a cursed life, a half-life. But who would choose such a life? Can you think of no one? Do you mean to say that that thing that killed the unicorn, that was drinking its blood, that was Voldemort? Do you know what is hidden at, in this school at this very moment? The Sorcerer's Stone. Harry, Harry. <sighs> well, friends, I see you've met our young Mr. Potter. You're safe now. This is where I leave you. Good luck, Harry Potter. Thank you. All right there, Harry. My scar. It keeps burning. It's happened before. What changed? Not like this. Perhaps you should see the nurse. I think it's a warning. It means danger's coming. You mean because you know who's out there right now in this very forest? Yes, but he's weak. He's living off the unicorns. Don't you see? We had it wrong. Snape doesn't want the stone for himself. He wants it for Voldemort. With the elixir of life, Voldemort will come back. He'll be strong again. But if, but if he comes back, you don't think he'll, he'll try to kill you, do you? I think that if he'd had the chance tonight, he would have tried to finish me. Wait a minute. You're forgetting one thing. Who's the one wizard Voldemort always feared? Dumbledore. As long as Dumbledore's around, Harry, you're safe. As long as Dumbledore's around, 
You can't be touched. We have to see Professor Dumbledore immediately. I'm afraid Professor Dumbledore is not here. He received an urgent owl from the Ministry of Magic and left for London immediately. He's gone now, but this is important. It's about the Sorcerer's Stone. How do you know? We think Snape's trying to steal it. I can I don't know how you three found out about the stone, but I can assure you it is perfectly well guarded. Now, would you go back to your dormitories, quietly? What would three young Gryffindors, such as yourselves, be doing here? Uh, Professor, we were just, um... You want to be careful. People won't think you're up to something. Now what do we do? We go down the trap door. Tonight. Thank you. Put a spell on that harp to play music. Hagrid said that's how to get past Fluffy. Oh, it's got horrible breath. We have to move its paw. The trapdoor's over there. Come on, Puffy. I'll go first. Don't follow until I give you a sign. If something bad happens, get yourselves out. Does it seem a bit quiet? The harp. It stopped playing. Ah! Come on, let's get to the chapter. Yes. Someone got the invisibility. Is everyone okay? Yeah. yeah. That was quite a fall. We must be miles under the school. Luckily, we had a soft landing. Now how do we get through these plants? Whoa, these vines, they're moving. They won't let go of me. Everyone, relax. This is Devil's Snare. If you don't calm down, they will only suffocate you. Suffocate. I'm going to try to get through. Suffocate? Oh, now I can relax. Hermione! I'm through. What do we do now? Just relax. Harry! Harry! 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Help! He's not relaxing, is he? Apparently not. Help! Help me! Oh, we have to do something. What? I remember reading something in Herbology. Devil's snare, devil's scare, is deadly fun, but will sulk in the sun. That's it! Devil's snare hates sunlight. Luma Solum. Oh, phew. Luckily we didn't panic. Lucky Hermione pays attention in Herbology. I've seen birds like these before. There are birds, they're keys, and I'll bet one of them fits that door. Hmm. What's this all about? I don't know. It's strange. Aloha, Mora. Well, it was worth a try. Oh, what are we going to do? There must be a thousand keys in here. We're looking for an old-fashioned one, probably rusty like the handle. There, I see it, the one with the broken wing. Harry, use the broom. Come on, Harry, you got it. Almost there. Almost there. I got it. Bring it here. Sorry. Come on. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Where are we? A graveyard? This is no graveyard. It's a chessboard. Lumo. The door. It's on the other side. Now what do we do? It's obvious, isn't it? We've got to play our way across the board. All right, Harry, you take the queen square. Hermione, you'll be the queen side knight. As for me, I'll be the bishop. What happens now? Well, white moves first, and then we play. Move. Ron, you don't suppose this is going to be like real wizard's chess, do you? Yes, Hermione. I think this is going to be exactly like wizard's chess. Move. Wait, Ron. You understand right, Harry. Once I make my move, the, pa the knight will take me and you'll be free to check the king. No, Ron, no! What is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. No, Ron, you can't. There must be another way. Do you want to stop Snape or not? It's you, Harry, that has to go along. Not me, not Hermione, you. Move. Check. No, Hermione, Ron. don't move. Don't forget, we're still playing. Ron did it. We have a clear path. Check, mate. Hermione, take care of Ron. Then go to the Owlery. Send a message to Dumbledore. Ron's right. It's me that has to go on. You'll be okay, Harry. You're a great wizard. You really are. Not as good as you. Me? Books and cleverness? There are more important things, Harry. Friendship and bravery. And Harry, just be careful.
you. No, it can't be. Snape, he was the one. Yes, he does seem the type, doesn't he? Next to me, who would suspect? But was studying Professor Quirrell. But that day during the Quidditch match, Snape tried to kill me. No, dear boy. It was me. And trust me, if Snape's cloak hadn't caught fire and broken my eye contact, I would have succeeded, even with Snape muttering his little counter curse. Snape was trying to save me. I knew you were in danger right from the off. Snape, unfortunately, wasn't fooled. But now, in the mirror of Erised, I see myself holding the stone. But how do I get it? Use the boy. Come here, Potter, now! Tell me, what do you see? What is it? What do you see? Ah, I'm shaking hands with Dumbledore. I've won the House Cup. He lies. Tell the truth, what do you see? Let me speak to him. Master, you are not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Harry Potter. We meet again. Voldemort. Yes. You see what I have become? See what I must do to survive? Live off another? A mere parasite? Unicorn blood can sustain me, but it cannot give me a body of my own. But there is something that can. Something that the mirror of Erised has shown to be in your pocket. Stop him! Don't be a fool. Why suffer a horrific death when you can join me and live? Never. Haha, <laughs> bravery. Your parents had it too. Tell me, Harry, would you like to see your mother and father again? Together, we can bring them back. All I ask is for something in return. That's it, Harry. There is no good and evil. There is only power. And those too weak to seek it, together, We'll do extraordinary things. Just give me the stone! You liar! Get him! Ah! <laughs> uh, ah! Uh, my hand burns! What is this magic? Fool! Get the stone! Give me the stone, boy! I won't ask again, boy! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh! It burns! It burns! Feeling better, Harry? Yes, Professor. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm sorry I wasn't here to protect you. It's okay, Professor. You are very fortunate indeed to have such noble and faithful friends in Ron and Hermione. Friendships are like that are hard to come by. Remember that. I'm just glad they're all right. Oh, they're better than all right. Your friend Ronald has been enjoying your chocolate frogs. Professor, what's happened to the stone? The stone has been destroyed. My friend Nicholas and I had a little chat and agreed it was best all around. But Flamel, can he survive without it? 
My friend Nicholas has had enough elixir to set his affairs in order. Sir, how's that I got the stone? I mean, one minute I was staring into the mirror, and the next it was in my pocket. You see, someone who wanted to find the stone, find it, but not use it, would be able to get it. And that is one of my more brilliant ideas. And between you and me, that's saying something. Does that mean, with the stone gone, I mean, that Voldemort can never come back? Uh, I'm afraid there are ways in which he can return. Do you know why Professor Quirrell couldn't bear to have you touch him? Why his skin burned so? It was because of your mother. She sacrificed herself for you, and that kind of act leaves a very special mark. No, no, no. This mark cannot be seen. It lives in your very skin. What is it? Love, Harry. Love. Another year gone, and the House Cup needs awarding. In fourth place, with 352 points, Hufflepuff. In third place, with 412 points, Ravenclaw. And in second place, with 472 points, Slytherin. And in first place, thanks to some extra points from Neville Longbottom, Gryffindor wins the House Cup. Come along now, first girls. Not much time left. Train leaves in 30 minutes. Come on, Harry. One minute. Ah, oh, Harry. Just some pictures of your folks I had lying around. Thanks, Hagrid. Oh, and if that dolt of a cousin of yours, Dudley, gives you any grief this summer, maybe threaten him with a nice pig pair of pig ears, you know, along with the tail. But Hagrid, we're not allowed to use school magic outside of school. You know that. I know that, but does your cousin? Off with you. What a year it's been. I can't imagine it getting even more exciting than this. Feels strange to be going home, doesn't it? I'm not going home. Not really. This is my home. 